hello and welcome to this uh, video tutorial from the fall ict academy video library in this other video i'll be answering question number two of the was ict elective uh, first series 2025 so question number two as you can see on screen is q basic if you watch my previous um, video i have uh, answered the, the the database question which is here the first one that is number one and uh, so in this tutorial i'll be focusing on number two which is q basic now let's look at the question now looking at the question here it says write a q basic code that accepts temperature in fahrenheit and converts it into centigrade using the formula so the formula is already given to you so this is a standard formula for converting fahrenheit to centigrade so centigrade is just another name for celsius the program should accept decimal values so here when you hear accept you should think of input okay uh, print the title as temperature conversion and display the results of the conversion so both this and this um, we can use print when we are writing the code insert in the code your index number and full name in that order as a comment okay so save the code as conversion in the folder created on your desktop so let's go to cube basic and see how we can do this so right now we are in cube basic as you can see on screen so let's let's look at um let's go back to the question and see so here probably i will be let me just because mostly comments are above your code so let's first um, type this then we can move ahead so we're gonna i'm gonna type my index number here so i will just say uh single quotation i'm going to start with a single quotation space and then say index number index number uh and then assuming that my index number is one two three four five six seven eight and then i'll come down in and then say full name okay full name and then uh, type my full name so remember the, the the program is not going to run these comments okay so now um, we move to so if you look at here it says uh, the program should accept uh, decimal values print the title as temperature conversion so let's use the print command we're gonna say print and uh, double quotation and then we say temperature 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 conversion hmm? temperature conversion okay then we press enter so that will be the first thing that will be displayed and then from there we're gonna do an input so the input will be so i'm just using a straightforward approach uh, we're gonna say enter temperature enter temperature in Fahrenheit foreign uh, Fahrenheit okay enter temperature in Fahrenheit colon uh, single space double quotation um, comma um, and then space and then we use F F here um, represents Fahrenheit okay then from here we are now gonna type the formula if you go back to the question the formula is already given to you here as you can see okay so let me just uh, put them side by side so that you can see both of them so here um, we're gonna type the formula so we're gonna say C so we're going to use C to represent uh, centigrade or Celsius. And then we say equals to 5. Okay, so we are following the formula that we have there. Okay, 5 uh, times. So if I 5 times, then we open the bracket. We put an F uh, minus 32. Uh, bracket close and then um, 
divided by 9 okay so now we put the we have placed the formula and then next we're gonna say print to display the results print uh, temperature temperature in centigrade so temperature in centigrade is double quotation oh sorry colon space double quotation uh, we put a semicolon here and then C okay so what is happening here is like uh, oops there is an error somewhere so let me see uh, okay I did not add I did not add double quotation here so I should add a double quotation sorry should add a double quotation here okay so once you see red you know that there is an error so once you see okay here then you know that uh, your code is okay yeah so let's let's go through the what we wrote here our code so as you can see at the top here is a comment right the top here is a comment we put our index number and our full name and then here we print temperature conversion okay we, we print temperature conversion that will display first and then next uh, we put an input so the input is going to display enter temperature in Fahrenheit enter temperature in Fahrenheit and this F here is a variable remember a variable is a container that stores values so whatever the user inputs whatever value is typed by the user when the program is run that value is going to be stored in the variable f which is here to represent fahrenheit and one that once uh, that value is entered and then you see you have another variable here called um, c the c here stands for the centigrade or celsius and uh, the formula will run okay so as far as the user already input uh, a value so that value is going to be stored here in the f here okay so when the calculation is done then now it is going to be printed it is going to say it is going to display temperature in centigrade is all right so it will display go here remember we declared a variable so whatever this whatever the results of this um, formula will give will be displayed here because we stored the results of this formula inside the variable c okay so that's going to display here so let's run it and see what is going to happen so i'm going to say start run start and then i i wait for it to run so as you can see um it says temperature conversion enter temperature in fahrenheit so let me just enter a value let's say i enter the value 10 so right now this 10 that i just entered is going to be stored in the f variable so when i press enter now so the calculation will be done and then now as you can see the temperature is now converted into centigrade which is um, uh, minus 12.22222 okay so that's that's just a straightforward approach so i believe this answers the question yeah so now, now let's look at the last question which is the save the code as conversion in the folder created on your desktop so what you're going to do now is go to file click on save as and then come here so leave the bus the extension there and just um, type conversion here okay and then now we're going to choose the path where we're going to save it so remember it should be saved on your um uh folder okay the examination folder so mine is here but um so depending on what you're going to be seeing here so you can just for example uh if you're seeing desktop you can just go there straight forward but just know that um, the c when you see c c is the root directory so inside c because my folders are structured differently so but when i go to c right now i'm in the c directory i'll go to users i'll go to my user here which is digital vigilante so it depends on the computer that you're using and then if i open that also my stuff are stored in the one drive so i'll open one drive 
so here you need to know how to navigate the folder structure okay then i'll go to my desktop and there is my folder so i'll open my folder and then i can now click on ok to save the file inside that particular folder okay so let's confirm whether it is there okay so if i look at my folder now you see i have conversion dot bus okay so please confirm before uh, uh, you leave the examination hall confirm whether your file is saved inside that folder so i believe this solved the problem of this question and uh, if you have a different approach uh, you can uh, comment on the comment section um, i'll be very glad to see another option so i believe this is a, a, a straightforward approach to this question and if you have any other suggestions or any methods you can um uh, 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 comment uh, below so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so i will be doing the html video soon inshallah